everyone. Welcome to Crafty Yarn Owl with Darla. I'm Darla and this is what we'll be making today. This beautiful uh, poncho. Beautiful poncho. Okay, now I'll tell you the yarn that I used for this one and then the yarn I used because I made a sample in the video. Okay. So for this one, I used Butterfly Yarn by Hobie. It's 100% premium acrylic. And this is a medium three. There are 200 grams, 547 yards in each one. I used almost two, but I wish I had a third one to make the poncho longer. So you may need um, 1,500 yards of a... Uh, light three if you want to make it longer um, than what I made it. Um, and this colorway is color number seven. It's a gorgeous, gorgeous colorway. So I actually color controlled. So the first color that started in the ball was this um, really light color. And I didn't really want to start with that really light one, so I started with this one. And so this is what I had left from two balls because I did color control, so I didn't use all, all of it. And you will need three stitch markers. I used a six millimeter hook. I wanted it to be more loosey, lacy, kind of, <laughs> more flowy. So that's why I used a six millimeter. I think with this one, they recommend, yes, a four to 4.5 millimeter. And also you'll need a darning needle to sew your ends in. Oh, and of course, scissors to cut your yarn. If you're curious about the yarn I used to make the sample in the video, I use Sweet Roll, made by Premier, and this one is a four weight, and uh, let's see, I only made a sample, so I don't know how many of these you would actually need. They are um, 140 grams, 245 yards, and let's see, 100% acrylic. And this color is Frosty Swirl. It's beautiful. Different shades of blue. And for this one, the recommended hook is a... Um, do they say the hook? Yes, they do. 5.5, and that's actually what I used in the tutorial. Please check the description box below if you would like to make this in a one or two weight yarn, which I think would look really pretty. Um, <laughs> the starting chain count will be down below for that. Thank you. This will be a two row repeat. We're going to start off with a chain of 80 and we're going to work in the round. The chain of 80 should work for what well, will work for the three and the four weight yarn. I'll have the um, chain count in the description box for the one and two weight if you want to make it in lighter yarns. I think that would look really pretty. Okay, so we're going to chain 80. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now in order for your chain to be straight and not twist, You could put it in the put your hook in that first chain and then in that chain you made there and continue making your chains. So that was seven, eight, nine, ten. It also saves you a step from putting the uh, chain in front of you and then making sure it's straight and then and then hooking it together. All right, I'll meet you at the end of the chain of 80. Now when we have our 80 chains made, we're going to grab our yarn and just pull it through both ends. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is chain one 
and then we're going to make a single crochet in every chain all the way around so you will end up having 80 single crochets okay single crochet in every chain all right so when you have your 80 uh, single crochets you're going to slip stitch into that first single crochet you made and then you'll chain one okay so in this very first stitch we are going to make a v stitch okay so a double crochet in this case chain two throughout this project the v stitch will be like that and a double crochet so that was a double crochet chain two double crochet and then I'm going to mark it so that it's easy to find next time we come around. And then what we're going to do is we're going to count over 40 stitches, starting with not the one we just went in, but the next one. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. In the 40th one, we're going to put a stitch marker, and that's where our next corner will go. Okay, now we're going to skip three stitches. One, two, three. Go in the fourth one with three double crochets. One, two, three, and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five, and then go back into that same spot with three more double crochets. One, two, three and then we're going to skip three one two three go in the next stitch with a single crochet and this is our repeat for this row skip three one two three go in the next one with three double crochet Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three more double crochets in the same stitch. One, two, three. Okay, now we skip three again. One, two, three, go in the fourth with a single crochet. Skip three. One, two, three, go in the fourth one with that fan stitch we just made. So that is three double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three double crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then skip three. One, two, three, go in the fourth with a single crochet. So continue that until we get to that stitch marker, just before we get to the stitch marker. 
Okay, when you're done your fans, you will have a total of five fans. After you make your last fan, you will have one, two, three stitches, and then your stitch marker will be in that fourth one. So take your stitch marker out and make a V stitch. So double crochet. Chain two and a double crochet. Then I'll put my stitch marker into that corner, V stitch corner. Okay, now from here we skip three, one, two, three, go in the fourth with our shell, just like before. One, two, three double crochets, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go back in that same stitch with three double crochets again. And then you skip three, one, two, three, put your single crochet in the next one. And then skip three, make your fan in the next, skip three, make your single crochet in the next, and I'm going to meet you at the, um, the end of this row. I made my last fan and I have one, two, three stitches left. So now we're going to slip stitch into the top of this um, first double crochet in this V stitch. And then we're going to slip stitch right into the middle of the V stitch. And now what we're going to do is make two V stitches separated by a chain two. Okay, so chain one and then make a double crochet, a chain two, and a double crochet. So that's our first V. And then we're going to make a chain two, which is our separation chain. And then we're going to make another V stitch in the same spot. So it's a double crochet, chain two and a double crochet. Okay, so we have a double, uh, sorry, a V-stitch, chain two, and another V-stitch. Okay, now I'm gonna put that stitch marker into the middle, into that chain two space. Okay, now we're going to go on to the next stitch, which is going to be the second row of the two row repeat. All right, so what we do here is Okay, here's our fan. So what we're going to do is just go right into that third double crochet. There's one, two, three double crochets. We're going to go right into the top of that third one with a double crochet. Okay, and then we're going to chain three, one, two, three. And in that chain five space, we're going to put a single crochet. And then we're going to chain three again, one, two, three. And then we have these three double crochets here. We're going to put a double crochet on top of the first one. Okay, so that's what we have. We have a double crochet in the third double crochet, chain three, 
single crochet around the chain five, chain three, and then a double crochet in that first double crochet. Okay, now we're just going to jump over to the next fan and do the same thing. This is our repeat for this row. So in the third double crochet, one, two, three, we'll put a double crochet on top of it. And then we'll chain three. And then in this chain five space, we'll put a single crochet in there. And then we'll chain three. And then we're going to put a double crochet on the first of these three double crochets, just on top of that first one. A double crochet. Okay, and I'll show you again. Put a double crochet on the top of that third double crochet right here. And then we'll chain three, one, two, three, and then we're going to put a single crochet right in that chain five space. And then we're going to chain three, and then we're going to put a double crochet on top of that first double crochet out of these three, just on top of that first one, double crochet. Okay, and uh, continue doing that, and I'll meet you at this next V. Okay, here we are at our next V. So we're going to go right in there with a double crochet, chain two, a double crochet. That'll be our first V stitch in there. And then we're going to do a chain two separation and then we're going to put another V stitch. Let's double crochet, chain two, and double crochet. Okay, one V stitch, chain two to separate them. This is the second V stitch. Okay, we're going to move that stitch marker. So then we're just going to repeat what we did at the beginning of this, this row. So now we're just going to go right into that third, top of that third double crochet with a double crochet, chain three, chain five space, put a single crochet, chain three, and then put a double crochet on top of that first double crochet in this group of three. Okay, in the first double crochet, put a double crochet. Would you like me to show you one more time? <laughs> Jump right over to the third double crochet. Put a double crochet on top of that one. Chain three. And in that chain five space right here, we'll put a single crochet and chain three. And then we'll put a double crochet on the first of those three double crochets on that first one. So just go ahead and do that on all of these fans and I'll meet you at that corner. Okay, now we're up to that beginning V stitch of this row. All right, so now we're going to, we're gonna slip stitch near the top of that first double crochet of that first V stitch, slip stitch in the middle of it Slip stitch on the top of that double crochet and that V stitch. And then we're at that chain two separation chain. 
slip stitch in there. So I think we slip stitched four times. Okay, so now we're going to chain one and we're going to put two V stitches separated by a chain two, like we did right here. Okay, so you put a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. It's our first V stitch, and then chain two to separate them. We'll make our second V stitch, which is a double crochet, chain two, and a double crochet. So there's our V stitches separated by that chain two in the middle. Okay, we're going to move our stitch marker, put it in that chain two between those two V stitches, like we did before. Okay, now let's take a look. So we have we have a single crochet row and then we have the first row and the second row of a two row repeat. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we are going to, let me just see here. <laughs> okay, right here, right there you see a space. Right before these three double crochets, there's a space. Okay, we're going to go in there with a single crochet, okay? And then we're going to jump right over to this single crochet that we have in this chain 5 space. We're going to go into the back loop only of that single crochet. And we're going to make three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet. Okay, there's one double crochet, there's two, there's three, and then chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go back in with three double crochet. Okay, so this is a repeat of the first row of the two row repeat. Alright, so that was three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet, all in the back loop only of this single crochet. Okay, now we need to make another single crochet and that, that's to lock down these stitches. Okay, if you hold your fan like that, it measures evenly uh, in a row with our fan down here. So you know the next space we want to go in is this big one. Okay, like not this one or this one, but this one. Okay, we're going to go in there and make a single crochet. Lock her down. Okay, so we go to our single crochet here, in the back loop only, we put three double crochets, one, two, three, and then we chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then three more double crochets in the same spot. Okay. Okay, so next spot we want to go to is this big space right here. Okay, we're going in there with a single crochet. Lock her down. <laughs> okay, and I'll show you again. This is the uh, single crochet in that chain five space. Go into the back loop only of that single crochet with three double crochets. It's one, two, 
three, chain five, one, two, three, four, five, and then go back in there with three double crochets. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. And then the next space we go into is right here. So we'll put a single crochet in there. And then in that next single crochet, we work in the back loop only, putting three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet in there. And then we go into this big space, put a single crochet. So keep doing that until you get up to the next stitch marker. All right, I've made my last shell. I'm going to go in this spot right here and put a single crochet, lock her down. <laughs> okay, now we're up to that stitch marker. This is the corner. So again, we're going to put um, Two V stitches separate by a chain two in the middle. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet, that's our first V stitch, and then chain two, that's our separation chain, and then another V stitch. Double crochet, chain two, double crochet. Okay, put your stitch marker in that chain two separation space. Okay, now um, right here, right after this V stitch, right in that hole, that's where you put your single crochet. And then here's our single crochet again here where we're going to work in the back loop only with three double crochet. A chain five. One, two, oops, got a knot. So that was chain two, three, four, five, and then three double crochets in the same spot. One, two, three, and then go to that big space and put your single crochet in there. Lock her down. <laughs> Lock down that fan stitch right here. Okay, continue on with that till you get to your next corner. All right, so I finished the last fan there and then I've put my single crochet to lock it down and now we're back to the first corner in this row. So we're gonna jump right over to it, slip stitch into the top of that Double crochet, slip stitch into the middle of that V-stitch, slip stitch into the top of the next, um, double crochet, slip stitch into the very center in that chain two space. Okay, now we're going to chain one. Now we're going to make Two V stitches separated by a chain two again. Okay, that's the first V stitch, chain two, and then we'll make our second V stitch. One V stitch, chain two, second V stitch. Okay, 
Okay, so now we're going to start the next row, which will be, this is, uh, it'll be the second row of the two row repeat that we're gonna be doing. So this row, I'm gonna repeat it. So I'll get you started on that. We're going to put a double crochet and we're going to jump right over, put a double crochet in that one, two, three, the third double crochet. Going to chain three, one, two, three. Going to put a single crochet in that chain five space. Chain three again, one, two, three. And then put a double crochet on top of that first double crochet out of these three in a row. So double crochet on top of that one. Okay, now we're going to go to the next one. Put a double crochet on top of the third one there. Chain three. And a single crochet in that chain five space. Chain three. And then a double crochet on top of that first double crochet out of those three. Okay, so we're just um, repeating row two of the second row repeat. Of the two row repeat, the second row. So continue doing that and then go ahead and do your, you know, it depends how tall you want your collar if you want it fairly tall. Um, for the three weight, which is not in this room right now, I made, um, I believe it was three sets. So I made three sets of the two row repeats. So that would be the fan, and then that next row would be one, and then two, and then I made a third one. So it's up to you what, what you want to make. And then after that, we're going to do some increases, which will make the, the poncho start you know, going out on either side, uh, you know, around your body. All right, so I'll be back when I'm done a couple more rows. All right, this is what my piece looks like so far. This is the neck piece. You can fold it over or leave it up, whatever you'd like to do. If it's really thin yarn you're using, it would probably just fall over itself. Um, but this thicker yarn, it's more stiff. All right, I put a stitch marker where I left off so I don't pull out those stitches when I pick the item up. Do you guys do that too? I never used to do that, and what a pain. <laughs> okay, so now I made, um, let's see, not counting the single crochet row, I made, uh, let's see, three sets of the two row repeat. That's what I did. You can make whatever number sets you want. All right, now we're gonna do some increases at the corners so that the item will start getting wider to go over your shoulders and down your body. Okay, so I've finished that stitch. I'm gonna slip stitch into the top of that first double crochet, and then I'm gonna slip stitch right into the center of that V-stitch and chain one. And I'm going to make a V-stitch in that first V-stitch. So every time you come around, you're going to make a V-stitch in the V-stitch. And that will help your um, item to grow. Okay, so double crochet, chain two. Double crochet. And then we're going to go into that chain two space where a stitch marker is and make two V-stitches separated by a chain two. This is our first V-stitch. And then that separation chain two, go right back in that same spot and put another V-stitch. Okay, and then we have a V-stitch here. We'll just go right in there and make a V-stitch. Okay, 
Oops. Okay. And I'm going to move my stitch marker up into that chain two separation we just did. Right here. <clears throat> but when we come back around, we will be making a V-stitch in that V-stitch, V-stitch in that one, and then two V-stitches separated by the chain, two V-stitch, V-stitch, every single row. Okay. So now we're going to make our fan. So the first thing we need to do in this big space is make a single crochet. That'll lock down our fan stitch when we make it. And here's our single crochet. Go into the back loop only and make your fan stitch which is three double crochet, chain five, three double crochet. That's the three double crochet, chain five, one, two, three, four, five. Go back in that back loop of that single crochet and make three more double crochets. Okay, and then we have this big space, lock her down with a single crochet. And then go to your the back loop of your single crochet there, put again a fan, three double crochet. Chain five, one, two, three, four, Five, and then three more double crochet in the same spot. Okay, just like that. And then we have this big space here. We're going to lock down our um, fan with a single crochet in there and then you go to the next uh, single crochet back loop only make your fan continue on when you get to just before your corner don't forget like you'll make your fan stitch here don't forget to put a single crochet in this big space to lock it down before you go into your V-stitch with a V-stitch. And then your two V-stitches separate by ch chain two, and then you put a V-stitch in the next V-stitch, and then go into that big space, lock your, your fan stitch you're about to make, lock it down with a single crochet in there, and then make your fans again. So I'll meet you at the end of this row. All right, I'm at the end of that row. I've made my fan stitch. I'm gonna lock it down in this big space with a single crochet. Now we're at our corner, our V stitches. So we're gonna put a V stitch, go right into it, a V stitch um, in every uh, V stitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Next V stitch, put a V stitch. And now we're up to a stitch marker, so that's where our chain two is. So that means the chain two separation, that means we're going to put two V stitches in that spot, separated by a chain two. Okay, 
that's our separation chain two. Make another V stitch in that spot. Put our stitch marker in that chain two. So it's easier to find when we come around. This is also the beginning of our next row. Okay. Put a V stitch in that next V stitch. V stitch in the next V stitch. Now I'm going to mark this, what we did here, so that just I know this is my start of my next row. So I'm going to mark that first V stitch with a stitch marker. Because when we come around, we're not going to just do our stitch here and then jump right over and make the V-stitch in the V-stitch. We're going to do our stitch and then we're going to slip stitch um, into our V-stitch when we come back around. And so that we don't lose track of the beginning of our row because this is done in separate rows, not just around and around. Okay. Oh, coffee's ready. <laughs> All right, so I've done the last V-stitch in the V-stitch, so now, now we're gonna just hop right over and put a double crochet in that third double crochet, just like we did before. Chain three, one, two, three, single crochet around that chain five, chain three, Double crochet in that first of those three double crochets. Jump right over, put a double crochet on that third double crochet. Chain three. Single crochet in the chain five. Three double crochet double crochet on that first double crochet here continue on for this row like that okay we're at the end of that row now we have our stitch marker there so we know not just to go right in and make a a v stitch because then we're going to lose track of our rows for sure. So what we need to do is we're going to slip stitch into that first um, chain three which counts as a double crochet. Slip stitch into it then slip stitch into the middle of our v stitch chain one and then make a v-stitch in that v-stitch okay double crochet chain two double crochet okay now we're going to put a stitch marker in that v-stitch so we know that's the beginning of our next row Okay, then you put a V-stitch in the V-stitch. V-stitch in the V-stitch. Okay, 
and then this is our chain two space that separates two v-stitches so we'll make a v-stitch chain two space and then another v-stitch okay and there's our chain two space go right in the same spot with another v-stitch Okay, we can put our stitch marker up into that chain two space. Oops, sorry, I gotta adjust the camera. Okay. Then we have our v next V stitch. Put a V stitch in there. Put a V-stitch in the next V-stitch. V-stitch in the next V-stitch. All right, now, so the next stitch we're going to make is that fan stitch. So we need to lock it down. All right, so we go in the space, make a single crochet, and then we make our fan. Just three double crochets. Chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And then the three more double crochets. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay. Three more double crochets is what I said. Okay. One. Two. Sorry about those stitch markers making noise. All right. So now we go. Um, we want, we go into this big space and make our single crochet to lock it down. And then we go in the back loop of this single crochet and make another fan. And that's uh, what we're going to do for the rest of this tutorial. We're going to do the two row repeat. That's the two row repeat. So this is the first row of the two row repeat. But when you get to the bottom, when you have it the length that you want, this is the row that you're going to want to finish on because this design will be at the bottom of, of the poncho. And also, when you get to your last row, when you have it the length you want, when at your corner, when you have these two V stitches separated by that chain two, you may want to put uh, instead of a chain two, you may want to put a chain three because like my thumb fit, fits through there, but everybody's thumb's different because that's where you're going to fit your thumb through. <laughs> and um, that holds down your sides. You can, like in the picture, you can, you know, cross your arms and then you're all wrapped up nice and toasty warm. Yeah, so that's what I did there chain instead of two, I chained three, or you can even chain four, whatever your thumb is going to fit into, right? And be sure to finish your item on this, this row where you do your fans. And yes, you are done your beautiful poncho. Thank you so much, and uh, please subscribe if you want. <laughs> it does help us out, really. It does if you subscribe and click like and share. Share my video. Share the tutorials, especially um, to your social media. I would just appreciate that so, so much. All right, thank you, guys. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your new item. I almost forgot. I'm going to make a single crochet around the top of this um, the neck 
to, you know, make it look neater. So I have a slip knot on my hook, pull it through one of those chains, chain one, go back in that same spot and I'm gonna go right over top of my yarn end and make single crochets all the way around the neckline. Now, if you went into the back loop only of your chain, you may not have to do this because it's already going to have a nice edge. All right, so single crochets in every chain all the way around. you get to the end of your row, slip stitch into the first single crochet you made, not the chain one. Slip, sti slip stitch in there, chain one. Pull up your yarn, cut it off. Pull it a little tight. And then weave in your end. you enjoyed this tutorial thank you so much for being with me spending some time here I love it when you guys are here visiting all right we'll talk to you soon bye bye